10 shocking secrets King Charles kept about the Queen. Starting off with number 10, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. When Philip and Elizabeth married in 1947, neither of them expected she would be crowned queen anytime soon. Her father, King George VI, was in his early 50s. Philip, named Duke of Edinburgh, intended to continue his career in the Navy, but the king passed away five years into their marriage, and Elizabeth became queen at the early age of 25. Philip was forced to quit his naval career, and the queen portrays his resentment. In 1992, he told an interviewer, I'd much rather have stayed in the Navy, frankly. He later, he later called his resignation naturally disappointing. By many accounts, there was real tension in the marriage. For their 50th wedding anniversary, Philip gave a rare speech about his marriage. He said that what has made their relationship work is the fact that they're tolerant of each other. I think the main lesson we have learned is that tolerance is the one essential ingredient of any happy marriage. It may not be quite so important when things are going well, but it is absolutely vital when the going gets difficult. You can take it from me that the queen has the quality of tolerance in abundance. Number nine, an expensive family. Despite the money produced by the monarchy, the royal family is pretty expensive. Back in 2018 to 2019, they cost taxpayers $86 million. This was 41% more than the previous year. How does it make sense that there are thousands of people in debt, but the funds towards the royals are increasing? Many agree that the education systems would benefit from this wealth more than people born into the crown. Not only does the system cost the British public money, but they're also unable to choose which ruler will come next, leaving taxpayers with no power over the system that takes a chunk of their money. And if you compare the wealth earned by the royals to the people of the country, it drastically changes the picture. The typical earnings of a full-time employee in England falls at 31,000 pounds, while the queen banks around 42.8 million. Being born into the monarchy means you will never endure the same struggles as most people, so they have no financial worries and aren't expected to work a 9 to 5. The majority of society works hard to achieve a somewhat comfortable life while others are simply handed it. Number 8, not the Queen's choice. It is not a secret that the extramarital affair between Charles and Camilla rocked the crown to his foundation and put the final nail in the coffin of Diana and Charles' strained marriage. Queen Elizabeth was furious more than anyone else, so much that the Duchess was not allowed to enter the palace. In point of fact, the first time she actually officially had a meeting with the Queen was in 2000 because the Queen refused to meet her before then. Number 7, unfit for the Queen. Despite the fact that the Queen and Prince Philip had been married for 71 years, many people were initially against the union between Philip and Elizabeth. They first met in 1934 at Princess Marina of Denmark and Greece's wedding to Prince George, Duke of Kent. However, it wasn't until the young princess and her parents, King George and Queen Elizabeth, visited the Royal Naval College in 1939 that Philip, then 18 years old, won Elizabeth's heart. It is certainly not uncommon for royal marriages to be arranged. In fact, most royal unions are predetermined by other members of the family, but that wasn't the case for Elizabeth and Philip. After the two met as teenagers, they began a correspondence and started spending time together when they could. Their friendship blossomed into a relationship on its own, and luckily for Philip, the king liked him. Biographer Sally Beadle Smith wrote that the king told his mother that Philip was intelligent, had a good sense of humor, and thinks about things in the right way. Number six, hiding family members. While most of the royal family is on display like in an art exhibit gone rogue, there have been moments throughout history where they try to hide away the regal members they don't deem adequate for the public eye. Prince John was the youngest son of King George V, the Queen's grandfather, when he passed away at only 13 years old. We didn't hear anything about him again. The young boy reportedly had epilepsy and the royal family used a familiar tactic to cope. Hide the child from public view. Royal biographer Christopher Wilson has documented that some family trees entirely leave Prince John's name. If they feel they have somebody that isn't up to snuff, they want to write them out of the history books, which happened in Prince John's case, Wilson said. However, that wasn't the first time the royals had hidden away family for the sake of a public image. Nerissa and Catherine Bowes Leon were first cousins of Queen Elizabeth. They were each born with mental impairments and were hidden away at the Royal Earlswood Institution for Mental Defectives. 
at ages 22 and 15. Their family also reported the girls passed in 1961 to hide their existence from the public even further. Catherine and Queen Elizabeth were born in the same year, but because the family had little to no understanding of navigating mental disabilities, they lived incredibly separate lives. Nerissa lived another 25 years after being initially labeled deceased, and Catherine only passed away in 2014. On to number five, affairs. The Crown strongly hints that Philip was a serial cheater. Over the years, the prince has been linked to numerous women, including two dancers, but neither he nor the women have ever confirmed any sexual trysts. One of the most gripping moments in the show's second season is when Philip's personal secretary and close friend Mike Parker is accused of adultery and sued for divorce in 1958. A massive, a massive scandal ensues in on the show and in real life with the implication that Philip must be a cheater too. That episode shows Elizabeth making peace with her husband by making him a prince. However, news reports from back then suggested Philip was made a prince so he couldn't be forced to testify at Parker's divorce trial, potentially exposing him to uncomfortable and embarrassing questions. Having said that, a long list of women have been mentioned as possible mistresses of the deceased prince. That's some hot royalty. The affair between Charles and Camilla is typically the first thing that comes to mind when people think of misbehavior within the royal family. The world was shocked by Charles and Diana's liaison, and it took many years before the public was ready to accept Camilla as an official royal family member. However, Philip, Queen Elizabeth's husband, was also the subject of rumors of extramarital affairs. Number four, racist husband. The Duke who wed the Queen retired from public life at the age of 95 by his remarks that were racist, sexist, or degrading had been dismissed as gaffes for more than 40 years prior. On to number three, personal funds. Far from opening the royal family's wealth, inherited or otherwise, to scrutiny, astonishingly, there appears to be no study on this topic. The Queen successfully lobbied the government to change a draft law in order to conceal her embarrassing private wealth from the public. The Queen was also given a personal exemption from having her private estate searched for stolen or looted artifacts, and her household remained exempt from laws that ban race and sex discrimination. Although it is speculated that her personal wealth amounts to hundreds of millions of pounds, the exact amount is still unknown. The wealth is not all simply historical. It is instructive that the British monarchy gives itself the business name, The Firm. Despite all the patriotic songs, it has offshore investments that don't pay taxes like many other global corporations do. Number two, struggling to fit in. Irving pointed to Philip's tour of Commonwealth countries as evidence of his need for breathing room. He explained it is understandable that as a hot-blooded young buck, as soon as he entered into the orbit of the horrible royal court and all the flunkies telling him what to do, it did not suit him. The fact that he lost his stack and spent six months on the boat is not surprising. He wanted to escape the dreadful atmosphere. But Philip was able to make the job his own overtime. And finally, number one, Princess Diana. The top secret revealed by Diana was back in 95 when the princess agreed to sit down with BBC's Martin Bashir for the exclusive and unethically done interview. In the interview, Diana opened up about her marriage to Charles and her experiences with the royal family and admitted that she had also had an affair during her marriage and revealed that Charles's long affair with Camilla made her feel worthless. Diana didn't care exposed Charles pretty badly with that one, and she said that she suspected Charles's staff was waging a campaign against her. In addition to her revelations about the royals, Diana also spoke about her struggles with bulimia, postpartum depression, and self-harm. It's really sad to hear how much the charismatic and charming princess was suffering, and hopefully the newer royals have access to more resources to help with their well-being, as should everyone else. But that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Juicy Royal updates, and I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.